We rolled initiative at the beginning of last time, so I think we might as well start with some music. At the top of the initiative, unfortunately, my friends, is Katia. And you hear a sickening crunch as Katia's body contorts, and as she twists towards you, her mouth seems to extend out, almost like a xenomorph, as her teeth become more pronounced, and the rips on both sides of her face go all the way back, giving her a rictus smile. Her shoulder blades pop, and crack, and her arms bend at unnatural angles as rudimentary wings burst from her back, scales and horns appearing from above her brow. And as she screeches, holding Dimitri in one hand, she moves in front of Bosric protectively. After all, she has to protect him from his traitorous kin. A sound like boiling water can be heard in the back of her throat. And as she screeches, she vomits out boiling blood from her mouth. I need Quedon, Clovis, Zeer, and Missouri to make for me... What is it? Wait one moment, please. A const... Or I'm sorry, a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Is this a spell or mother, other magical effect? Magical effect, no. You said no? No. Okay. Uh, that is a 17. 20. Uh, I'm coming in at an 18. 11. Sorry, the clouds don't like the internet. That's okay. It is not a magical effect. It is a breath weapon. Cool. We have a 20, a 17, an 18, and an 11. All right. Let me refresh because that went away for me. So sorry, the music's going to hiccup a little bit. You're good. Still working on internet in an ice storm. Um, okay, so we've got a 20 from Zier. Um, what, everyone else just announced what you got. Okay, mm -hmm. 17 from Clovis. 18 from me. 18 for you. And Amir so I guess 11. Queen got the 11. Okay, so that is three passes and a fail. Um, Zir, I believe since you are a rogue, you will take no damage. The rest of you will take half of this damage. Queen. Uh, as, as a possessor of the Shield Master feat, I also take no damage. Ooh. Hey. Um, so you put up your shield as this boiling blood flows over you, Zir. You kind of hit the deck. I'm um, right by Clovis, so I probably just get behind his shield. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, so, Quedon, you will take... Sorry. That's incorrect. Ignore oh. that. You will take. Very uh -huh. professional, this guy's, I promise. Really? Oh, so good. You're super right. chill. The suspense is terrifying, to be fair. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, it super is. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. So, Queen, you take 26 take... fire damage. Uh huh. Uh, oh, yeah. And 25 necrotic damage. Um. I'm so down. Okay. Oh boy. I'm, right. su I'm super instantly down. Hold on. How many? What was your health yeah. at? Uh, thirty-two. Okay. okay. What is your max health? Fifty-six. Okay. Okay. So you are not dead, but you are unconscious. Um, yes. And Mazura, you will take um thirteen fire damage and twelve necrotic. All right. Tracking. And then um, she screeches at you, no longer capable of uh, regular human uh, speech. And that will bring us to Zir. But before that happens, Quedon, you are not unconscious. 
because as Quedon falls to the ground, uh -huh. all of you see from his shadow what appears to be a tall young man with long black hair who reaches down and touches Quedon. Quedon, you cast Healing Spirit. And you get the effects of the Healing Spirit. Okay. Your I'm spore power has activated. Fantastic. Let me pull that spell up real fast. Whoa. <laughs> Was that a reaction? Yes. Casting that? Uh, under normal circumstances, it is not. Under normal circumstances, it is an action. You have to activate mm -hmm. your spore power. But uh, because this is the first time your spore power has activated, just like with Clovis's, it happened as a reaction. But going forward, it will be an action for you to call on. Five foot cube, I'm assuming around me. Uh -huh. uh, yes. Um. Cool. So on my turn, I get some some yeah. some pats on the back. Yeah, that's so, so great. So you will be unconscious, but um, and as the uh, spirit looks at all of you, um, Quedon is still unconscious. You see the face of a handsome young elvish man with claw marks across his face, and he looks at you and goes, "Shh," and then turns into a wolf. I don't know who that is. <laughs> the twink of course inside you us know. all. What? <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's fine. David Thewlis was really handsome as Remus Lupin. We all we all know it. it was, that will bring yeah, it was, us. It was Remus Lupin. Yeah. That will bring us to Zir. Okay. Um, I go. I run. <laughs> I flee. I, I do the stupid thing. Oh. Well, a different running direction. Not that stupid, but um, I think the token that you placed out, you might have placed. So I'm not. I Controlling believe it. that I did. Let me see if I can give you control of that. Yeah, it's okay. I just popped uh, a new one on there if you want to delete players. that one. Well, fine. <laughs> see if I do anything for you again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was <laughs> trying to be... I was trying it's to be... Fine. You're, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> okay. I flee. Well, the opposite of fleeing. I go. Yeah. <laughs> um. I flee towards the danger. 510. A, a bold 15, strategy. 20, 25, 30, 35. We're here now. Okay. This is our, I know it's shotgun granny, but this is our <laughs> marker for Dimitri. Yes. yes. Uh, okay, Dimitri great. is still in her hand. Ah, uh, mm. okay. Yes. So that's moved with her. Okay. I um, take back what I said. Okay. Cool. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, Hello. I 510 15 20 25 30 35 45. Okay. I cunning action dash. I end okay. up here next to boss. All right. I look to boss and I say you shouldn't be by yourself and also we shouldn't be clumped together. I've learned. Um, and uh, I guess I stab, huh? Boss just has this look of deep, just wound on his face. Just. Yeah, Zir nods. Um, I stab, unfortunately. I don't love that, but that's. I think that's where okay. we're at. Go for it. I get a dirty 20 to hit. That will hit. That does this amount of damage. Plus this amount of damage. Okay. There you go. 
So it is not a sneak attack. It is uh, not. Because Boz is not within five feet, but uh, you Indeed. do get... Uh, you also, are you stabbing, so you're stabbing with the rapier, not the cool. Oh, you froze out there, but I assume you Sorry. were asking about the dagger. No, I'm not using the dagger because uh, it was mentioned that it might have ritual purposes, and that frightens me. So I'm using okay. the rapier. <laughs> Sounds good. Love that for you. Okay. Thanks. Nine damage. <laughs> Stunning. Very. Uh, will that be all? That is all. Thank you. That will bring us to Clovis. Okay. Um, uh, Clovis, just so you know, you will be under the effects of your turtle spell. Mm -hmm. uh, because initially it lasted for an hour, you will be under the effects of the turtle spell for five rounds. Okay. Thank you. I was going to ask that. But uh, it is the updated sure. one, which is just uh, bludgeoning, slashing, yeah. and piercing, and then the elements. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, Clovis is going to, uh, upon seeing, he's immediately less worried because he's, I think, familiar with the, the healing spirit and the effect, and he can see that Queden is all right. But he's still going to step sort of, I think, defensively over Queden to make sure that doesn't happen again. Um, and as he moves into position, he's going to uh, sort of to himself say, bit of a long shot, Stendar, but... You let me be your shield, please. Let me be your voice. Uh, and he's going to look at Katya and use his uh, channel divinity, Orders Demand. Okay. Could you send me exactly what that does? Yes. While he's doing that, Red, what was um, Katya's reaction to me stabbing at her? Uh, she screamed. Cool. As, as one would. Um, so I'll need her to make a wisdom saving throw. And as she does, uh, Clovis will say, Katya, we don't want to hurt you. Put the boy down and let us leave so that this violence does not have to continue. Okay. Wisdom save. What is the DC? 17. All right, she turns to you and she's about to screech. And then like you see it kind of catch in her mouth. And she's like, and you hear the cracking again as her body starts to kind of soften. And with a 16, she is charmed yes. by you. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, the feature also does specify uh, at the end of it that I can uh, make a charmed creature drop whatever they are holding at the beginning of my that, turn. Yes. And I would like her to drop Dimitri. All right. Um, and then I'm going to look at everyone. And I think you guys can see Clovis sort of straining with energy to like hold this effect. And he's going to say, time to go right now. Um, no more stab? <laughs> she like puts on her <laughs> sword. like. <laughs> Uh, and I think, um, I think that'll be my turn. I think okay. Clovis is going to stand in front of this door until everyone is out. Though she is charmed by you, Clovis, as she puts Dimitri down, her mm -hmm. attention turns back to Basra. Okay. Um, where does she put Dimitri down? She just lets it go. Okay. Um, if her attention is off of me then, but she still seems to be focusing on some of us, I think I will move forward since she's charmed specifically by me and I will pull Dimitri out of her like reach. Okay. Um, She kind of like goes to like reach after him, but it's sort of in like the way that when you take a, a toy from like a sleeping child and they're kind of just like, so she just kind of paws at him, but then she lets her hand drop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to use, however, does he encumber my movement? He's pretty uh, yes. small. Okay. He, is, he is small, but uh, it's still going to take five feet off your movement. That's fair. Um, in that case, I think I do still have enough to get him back to here, and I would like to deposit him on this side of the wall 
uh, in in eyeshot of Mez. Okay. Uh, Quedon, um, you feel a surge of healing energy pass through your body as the healing spirit activates. Yes, this falls under my circle of mortality, so I get full uh, HP uh, from that, I believe. It does, uh, yes. So I'm back to six. Um, which is not super great. I've sort of been debating uh, if six is enough to, to flee. S sorry, so Clovis has hold of, of Dimitri right now? Where what's? Uh, Dimitri is here. I will use the uh, shotgun granny Dimitri to indicate his position. Um, cool. Oh, super great. So we're just running? Uh, Katya, when yeah. when you were last conscious, Katya looked monstrous. Looking at her now, she looks normal again. So that's up to you. Cool. And I, I didn't see the, the, the figure that appeared above me at all. No, great. but you do see Beautiful. that there is that wolf that you've seen before kind of just sitting next to you. Yeah. Oh, hey. Um, <laughs> Hello, okay. Uh, and this over here is uh, Boz to the right. Uh, yes. Boz and Zier are currently behind Katya. Cool. Uh, some of these tokens are, are not loading properly where I think they are on the map. Uh, I, I mean, I'm going to... The... Uh, Where yeah, we I... are right here and right okay. here. Yeah, you're in the you're in the other room on my screen. Ah. Um, you may want to refresh. Ah, well, um, I am going to just fucking run. I guess I don't want to provoke her and get her to be angry. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't. Think, I, I really don't think he's in a very heroic uh, attitude. I'm going to shout. Well, I'm definitely going to shout over, like, um, just... Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just fully went down, uh, and got revived by something that was fully not, uh, <laughs> something that I know of. Uh, I'm just gonna, like, nod to the wolf next to me and say, Thank you, um, and... Have a mission, Whedon. I'll see you finish it. Uh, um, <laughs> I just like silently salute and nod. Um, I'm worried about these guys over to the right, but I think that I really do think that Queen's first instinct in this moment is to run. Um, so I'm. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna shout. Um, uh, get yourselves out and quickly. I'm on the other side of. When you make it out. And I'm just gonna run as as much as my movement will take me, I guess. Take the taking the, the disengage. Uh you don't have and... to disengage, you're fifteen feet away from her. Swear. The only reason you took damage oh, yeah, was you're the so, Yeah. You're super right. Okay, cool. One, um, it two. should be noted though that she does have a melee reach of ten feet. So two squares is her disengage range. Good to know. Um, yeah. She got big, long, gangly of... arms. Yeah. Uh, uh, Clovis getting... Uh, getting the child uh, uprooted my plans a bit. Um, but I'm fine with that. I guess I'm trying to think if there's anything better I can uprooted do. Uprooted your plans? Yeah, yeah, you know. I, did, I did put Dimitri down, so if you want to sort of like football-esque, like, take the rock and keep running. <laughs> you could. Yeah, I, I'll do my best. I'll take the... I'm going to take the dash action. Um, and... 
I gotta get here. So dash action brings my movement to 60, but it's then back to 30 because I'm carrying child. Uh, so that's one, two. Well, it's not back to 30. Uh, your, your movement would go down to 50 because it's five oh. feet off. Super, yeah. super cool. Cool. Okay, then in that case, that is 10. I can take the child. Actually, what is Queden's strength score? <laughs> strength score is not great. Uh, like, the, the number or the modifier? The uh, number. It's, a, it's a 14. Okay. Okay. Um... Then how many squares can I make that in 55, then 15, 20, 20, 30? I can get out of this room, I think. We're get we're trying to get back up these stairs here, right? Yeah. So I'm taking them. Um... That's 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Does anything happen if I when I approach this door? <laughs> Do I got to... I gotta open the door. Uh, no, it's open because you didn't close oh, it. Oh, super, you. super cool. Yeah. Um, that was. And, uh, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50? Question mark? Uh, do you remember that you moved 15 feet to get to Dimitri? Yes. Okay. Cool. All right, and Dimitri is with you. Thank you. Sorry for how okay. slow that turn was. Uh, you did a lot of things. It's okay. <laughs> great. I am alive, and I took a child like a football. Let's go. All right. Bosric. Boz channels what he thinks is the biggest encounter with disappointment he's ever had in his life, which was when he told his father he was joining the Vermilion Vigil. And he just remembers what it felt like to have that pointed at him. And he takes a deep breath and he looks at Katya with his most disappointed look. I offered you something priceless. How long would Dimitri's life... And he's walking while he's doing it in a lesson fashion. <clears throat> if I can find the right thing that actually lets me move. Because new... Uh... There we go. So that's 30 feet. <clears throat> Dimitri's life would be a flickering candle before yours. You would lose him. Very, very soon. Like any other toy. I offered you knowledge that would last as long as you do. I offered you a gift close to my heart. Why are you mad at me? I protected you from them. You acted without leave from your teacher. You s lost control. Of your focus you have disgraced me as your teacher i thought you needed a chance to prove yourself you have instead proven your mother right you have dishonored me your teacher i am disappointed and i look at the sword and I say but i keep my word the sword is yours. Let it remind you to be better. And I turn my head and I leave, using my action. As you as you leave, you hear the growl in the back of her throat, and she says, with surprising clarity, I have proven nothing. The only one who has proven my mother right today is you, Osric. Truly, what they say about the orcs is right. And then she is going to walk away. Zir, you can take an attack of opportunity if you want. 
I'm okay. I won't. Okay. Um, she curls up in the back of the um, uh, room. She, uh, You can see her zero look at the sword. I'm going to go ahead and take us out of initiative now. Because the fight is over. Um, she looks at the sword. And then she lifts her hand up in the air and smashes it on the ground. And then she curls up on the broken pieces of it and you can hear her start to cry. We should bar this door. Yes. Uh, is Zir still in there, or...? Um, I'm hesitating. I would like to talk to my siblings real quick. Okay. Um, they, uh, all kind of... sort of appear out of the smoke around you. Hey, sis. Hey, um... I, uh... I don't... want to... poke the bear by going over there and saying something. Um, but uh, we we have something special that I think I've taken for granted. Um, I don't think she's ever really felt the bond of a sibling like the way she should. Could you go and um just give her a pat or a hug as siblings that's that's not really how this works dear oh but if if you want to try we can back you up but it's got to be you we can do we can extend things off of you like when you hugged Missouri we could hug him because you were touching him but oh. if you don't do it we can't well let's let's do that okay um i see that clovis is in the doorway are you still in the doorway yeah he's got his hand on the like lever mechanism but i think he witnesses you and now that you've like made clear that your siblings are around and stuff if he sees you talking to people he can't see i think he would kind of put together that you've got something in mind he would cool. just okay. give you like a okay zir are you uh, are you willing for clovis to see them not you yet say no okay so then yeah. yeah you see zir talking to someone clovis um I walk over to Katya. She's crying, so I'll just... <laughs> so then she kind of sees you and sort of like... I hate to use this analogy, but sort of like... Do you ever... Have you ever accidentally stepped on your dog's foot and they just yeah. look at you like you have just yeah. offended their great ancestors? Absolutely. She looks, she looks at you with this, with this kind of mix of like threat and fear. Zira, like, goes wide-eyed at that. Are you here to mock me again? Mock me like master. Mock me like all the others. No, uh... Um, I'm not gonna hurt you. And I didn't really want to hurt you in the first place, I'm sorry. No, I... You, I... I hurt you. I tried to hurt you, it's... Mati says, if I hurt people, people would hurt me. I didn't want to hurt anyone. It's... It's not your fault. Um... I don't know if you can see them. Uh, but I have siblings, too. Pretty. And... He, I wanted to let you he know... He has horns like me. Yeah. Like, she rubs where the dragon horns had come out of her head. And, um... Almost all of us do. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I just wanted you to know, because I'd feel bad leaving without telling you, the way you're treated, that's not how it's supposed to work. We love each other, and we support each other, even, um, even in death. Um, and I just, I need you to know that. And maybe you can, I don't know, stand up for yourself, because you deserve a lot better. And I want you to know what it feels like when it's the way it's supposed to be. And Zir like? will, Zir will go for a hug. Um, she kind of like tenses away, but not as much. Sort of like the still unsure, but she I'll, does after I'll a while pause. let you let you hug her. Okay. Um, and she says, "I can't. Where would I go without Monty? The people of the village would not let me stay there. Not after what I've done." Not with the way I look. Mati is broken. Sisters are broken. But they're all I have. Without them, I have nothing. But like Master said, eternity, forever, alone. That's all it. I do. And she like picks up the pieces of the sword. All I do is break things. Well, that's, that's how I felt, too, when I came here. Um, you need to find new people who care about you. And Zero kind of shoot a look over at Clovis. <laughs> we're, we're trying to fix things. Some people might get hurt in that process. In fact, some people are definitely going to get hurt in that process. But... Hopefully things can be better. Mati. Mati said. Mati said the master could grant wishes. The master at the center of the town. Do you think they would make me pretty? If, if that's what you want your wish to be, but I think you're fine how you are. I'd wish I for something want, else. I don't want to scare people anymore. I don't want to live in the basement anymore. I don't want Monty to wince when she looks at me. Um, I think you should wish for whatever would make you happy, but... You were made this way, and that's not your fault. You shouldn't have to compensate for it to make other people feel better. I know. Everyone thinks I'm stupid, but I'm not. I understand what I am and what I look like. I know why they're afraid. I'm going to go to the master going to wish to be better. I'm going to wish to be born to a family like you. <laughs> well, kind of. No. What you have is nice. It is. I'm very lucky. Can you... I promise, and she, like, takes one of her long fingers and crosses over where her heart would be. I won't hurt anyone. Can you open the door to the, the tunnel for me? I need to see the master. <laughs> or just let me out. Just, just let me go. Won't hurt anyone. 
I promise. Dimitri should be with someone who can take care of him. And I know that's not me. Um, I'd like to, but you did hurt one of my friends, and I need to make sure they're okay with it. I know you, I know it was in defense. It's okay, but I want to talk to them first, okay? Thanks. And I scurry into the room. <laughs> Yeah, so question. Oh, I disappeared. Ah, I'm back. Uh, um, question. Uh, this isn't Missy Step. Um, I, like, being in the other, like, I think I would have just kept running. So how, like, I get think i as far I'm, as you want to get. I mean, unless anyone's, like, calling or signaling for me to like stop running i think i'm just trying to sprint like i'm i'm pretty i'm pretty embarrassed uh by how all of that went so i just got a i i got a child and Weedon's i'm fucking halfway back to town <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> i mean well i think you would be running but i think you would see boz walking out like in a very calm way so you would know combat is over. You can determine yeah. whether or not that means you keep running. I'll get to the stairs and like get winded and like set him down for a second Dunning. and just like look in shame. Like we did so much for you and, and wait until everybody piles in just like <laughs> catching my breath. Uh, just to check in because combat ended before we got to your turn. Mez, is there anything you want to do? Uh, no, at this point, they've uh, got Dimitri. They start moving him out, but I'm in position to lock the door again, so I'm. if anything, I have the piece of wood stood ready to kind of lift it and uh, you know, levy it through the, uh, the first brackets and then into the second. Okay. Hey, um, team? Wait, where is team? And she looks between uh, Clovis uh, and Mez. <laughs> sort of around. Oh, okay. Well, those were kind of the main two people I wanted to ask this, but I'll feel it past y'all first. Uh, um, Katya wants out. She promised she wouldn't hurt anyone. She wants to go and make a wish. I'd like to let her out. My vote but is yes. She can do a lot of damage, so if she goes back on her promise, uh, that wouldn't be great. I will lean the uh, piece of wood that would have bouldered the door shut. I'll lean it against the wall and just start to walk away. If you like anything she does, you guys will be responsible for it. Choose wisely. Ugh. Oh. I don't like that. <laughs> Zier kind of looks at you like an angry daughter. Like, that's <laughs> not the response I wanted, Dad. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I'll sort of... As you walk away, he'll say, um, I won't tell any of you no, but just weigh the gravity of your choice and the con potential consequences. Uh, I'll sort of grab Zier on the shoulder uh, and say... Not like, not like grab, grab, but just like You're to get your guy. attention back <laughs> from the, from the angsty here. dad stare. <laughs> uh, I'm a cleric. Uh, this is, uh, this was my goal originally, so I'm going to stick by it. Um, I, boss was really hurt. I know. I don't want to go against him. Where is he? Just on the other side of the. Door? Yes. He should be okay. out there. And hey, for the record, I'm proud to be on your team. That was good work. Oh. I just I just kind of ran in and stabbed. <laughs> I meant the after the stab part. Oh. Um The stab part was good too. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm still learning. 
We all are. This isn't my specialty. Talking to people. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Deer's, Deer's like uncomfortable by the heartfelt moment and just like runs over to where Boz is. Uh, hey, Boz. Hey, Boz. Mm. Did, we, did we get everybody out? Is everybody, is everybody safe? Are you all right? Well, dumb question, but... I'm alive. What happened back there? Who, who got me back up? What? I'm really not sure myself. What do you mean you're not sure? Someone must have. Tall chap. In. Tall chap. Claw marks across his, across his face. Appeared out of nowhere. Um, at this point, the wolf kind of pads up, sort of walks through Boz, and just sits in front of you. It was me. You saw me when you woke up. You've had my blessing all this time. Did you think I would let you die? You... Death is our domain, but not before the appointed time. So, I presume Zir now walks up to me. Um, yes? Hi. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Um, I talked to Katya. Um... She promised not to hurt anybody. She she recognizes that she's not in a good place and she wants to get to a better one, but the only way to do that is to let her free. Like, let her escape, which I think originally was our goal, but I didn't want to do that without asking you because I know you were pretty hurt by her choices. And also Med stressed me out because he said that I have to deal with the consequences of my actions and I don't like that. No one does. Um... Can she even get out of there? I think so. Most teachers should have patience, which is something I'm all good with. I... She gives her word. We hold her to her word. She crossed her heart. That's as good as gold in my book. I mean, that's what I do, so. Well, I swore an oath on parchment, cut my finger on a blade, and but that's just me. And that's a lot. Where, and yeah, the, that's and a lot. also, uh, yes, it's also a samurai thing. It's not a... Uh, I mean, it's cool. It's just a lot. Yeah, I know. I know. But it's a very different kind of vow. <sighs> um, Quaden, she I... actually, like, okay. knocked you down. So how are you feeling about this proposal? <laughs> and also, are you okay? I should have asked that first. Sorry. DM, can anyone else see the wolf? Everyone can see the wolf. I'll wave at it. <laughs> Hello, dog. <laughs> it will kind of look at you, kind of like sort of narrow its dog eyes, and then one of its paws comes up. Oh. Hello? Like shake? Like no, dog's please, shake? Who's please, you? No, don't touch my paw. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, this is the Brian Griffin of Wolves. <laughs> Everybody shut the fuck up! Oh. All those... Now? Now what what is this? The Zarakis, is this you? The some joke? No. Well I'm not really sure. 
all those years trying to trying to track you down trying to bring now what what I did you see? all of you no 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 all of you what did you see what did you see who brought me back um oh, as shoot. you are about to answer him you hear a voice in your head say nothing all of you except we hear that um zir you also don't Oh, I don't hear it either. No. Oh, Basically, it's telepathic <laughs> communication. <laughs> Bosric, Bosric, you said this. Hold on. This was it. It was a man. It was an. It was an elf. It was. Hold that thought. We will get back to it. I promise you. <laughs> I just, but I just got I something. Just, I just got I fell another unconscious something. after a. No, you just cut another just, something. Because something just told me to say nothing. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I have no answers for you. You're asking a you're asking a fighter who only just recently discovered about it, the worship of his ancestors of his people, theological stuff. I have no idea what's going on here. You'd be better off asking uh, Matron Lacramora. I am. <laughs> Frankly, I, didn't I have even, no answers. Frankly, I didn't even want to be here, and now I fell after a single hit, and and now. All right, I'm gonna actually walk up to, uh, to Queen and say, "Hold on, hold. I get it, but right now we are still in the thick of it. So breathe in, out." I cannot, I do not pretend to understand what it is you have gone through in your life, but it is clearly left a mark on you, and I respect that, but we are also still in danger. To put it simply, Guidon, I'm not Zarekis. I'm the piece of Zarekis that gives you power. If anything, I'm a section of you. The part of your soul that you gave up. When you his made the his pack. eyes, his eyes just fully tear up. He's this is the worst possible time. It is. I've got a, I've got uh, a it child. Is. It is, but time waits for no being, and unfortunately, we are still in danger. But let's just... do whatever the hell we have to do. Someone just point me in a direction. Also, um, you heal. You heal uh, six more health, by the way. <laughs> yeah, because the healing pulse Thanks. is still happening. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, yeah. dude, I'm move. trying to help you. I'm trying, but but we are also like we are still in the thick of it. We need to leave. We need to rest, and uh, we need to figure out what to do next. Because I'm pretty sure the reason why we came here is because we need to kill. Uh... Oh, I, uh, we, need, I, like... we need to get. A, we need to get a black pearl, apparently. But that yeah. I don't know what to do right now. Yeah. We've got two. We've got, we've got Katya with a request and two sisters unaccounted for, and every moment we stay in this place, we are in danger. So I let Katya go, and we run, and then we can talk next. Uh, well, maybe sleep uh... on it and then talk next. Also, just at, while you guys are debating that, Clovis, do you grab the uh, Orum skulls? The Null Stones? Um, I am still standing by the door, waiting to hear okay. what the decision with Katya is, so no. I am okay. I'm, I know they're still there, and I plan to grab them as we leave, but yeah, not All right, cool. Not yet. So can she... Like, I'm presuming, if, I, if, if things work, um, I'm presuming this is the... the... the place where we saw the terrifying little girl. Mm -hmm. Is that door big enough for Katya? Doesn't look like it should be. Doesn't look like it should be. She seemed confident that she could get out as long as I opened the way. Oh. 
Oh, but that girl wanted me to... Oh. That girl is an entirely different conversation. That girl, I will remind you, wanted you to go down there. Because she walked through the door. The door yes. is not... There was no... Yeah. Um... I mean, that girl was trying to get me to go down there. I wonder if that's even a good path for Katya to go. Hmm. Could Katya come with us? That's a big ask. At least back to the village, and we could let everyone know that she's safe. Can I come out yet? Please? I, I don't want word. to be trouble. She gave a word. Yes. I'll Katya, come. I'll give her the benefit so, of the doubt. But again, Katya. and I am and I'm like Zero. I will agree with Mizuru on this one. Katya starts to walk out. I heard what you said, Master. Before and now. Yeah, she has fucking super hearing. She can hear all of <laughs> what we've said. <laughs> I understand why you need me to be safe. Draw your blade, Master. Put it at my throat until I have walked out of your rhino sight. I don't want to hurt these people, but I want to assure you that I will be okay. I, w I won't put it in her throat, but I will... I will put it, um, I will hold it at the ready. I will escort okay. you. Students. She, um, she kind of, like, makes her way out, really, like, avoiding eye contact with everyone, specifically Dimitri. Um, but when Dimitri sees her kind of diminished, he's actually going to break away from Whedon, and he's going to run up to her, and he's just going to grab her hand, and he's going to say, I'm not mad at you. I know you didn't. And she just nods and then kind of pushes him away. And she walks up to this grate. And she sort of like straightens herself up. And she grabs the grate and you hear this horrendous like... <clears throat> as she pulls the wall off. And you realize now there was nothing keeping her in there except her willpower. She could have broken through at any time. She oh. walks through the hole that she has made. Katya? Have you ever seen a little girl approach you? Girl? Where you were? A long time ago, she would come and play with me. She hasn't been here in a long time. You trust her? She was nice. She told me I was pretty. No. Oh. I hope she can give you what you seek. She might be down there. Really? And she turns and she runs down the hole. Hmm. Well. I hope she we finds will, what she's looking for. We will face those consequences well, at a later date. Uh... Congratulations, <laughs> friends. You get the XP for that boss fight and can Ooh. accelerate yourselves to level six at yeah. the next rest. Well, <laughs> assuming we survive that long. Let's hope we live that long. <laughs> Yippee! Uh, let's let's leave, folks. Time to walk out the front doors and make a fortress. Okay. Yeah, if we get, I, I, uh, I, I, I don't think it's gonna be that easy. So now, do you take the null stones? Yeah. Okay. I will. Uh, I will walk. Take, apart. I'll take the null stones because I'm not magical. Oh, thank goodness! I didn't want to. I didn't want to volunteer you I'll, for it, but I'll put them in my back. Can I? Can they fit in my backpack? Yeah. Then I'll do that. They're, they're the size of a deer skull without the antlers. Oh, cool. Yeah, then what's I will the, put them in my backpack. What's the radius on them? Uh, 30 feet each. When they are within 5 feet, it's a 60-foot bubble. Okay. Um, I'll I'll walk up uh, with Bosric up the stairs as we're going out and say, now, a, a word of warning, uh, and, and just I just want to assure you, the rest of us are probably, except perhaps here, gonna stand 
further away from yeah, you. I get it. It's it's sort of, yeah, I get it. It's not, anti-magic. You don't smell. I, I get it. It's anti-magic. Mm-hmm. I get it. I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure. He might, he might understand. Friction. I'm getting the feeling that he may understand the uh, importance of what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Just wanted to make sure. I don't want any hurt. You're fine. You're fine. It's fine. Let's just go. <laughs> um. So you make your way out of the undercroft. Um. Who is the last one out? I think I am so like I'm still like wanting. I'm fully pulling up the rear. Uh, I'm. This wolf is just like around now. He's just like he's he's still there. Uh, he lasts for an hour, and then he goes uh, cool. away. Cool. Yeah. He. I. I'm not gonna say anything but i'm just gonna like slowly over the course of all that conver- conversing that was happening just like slowly approach him and like hang in the very very back of the group and like at first i'm, I'm gonna try to like do some like very silly like <laughs> like waving in front of his face like looking down just like not knowing what the hell is going on here uh but just like yeah, pulling up the rear, walking next to uh, next to this wolf. Okay. Roll a perception check for me. Yeah. Um. We'll do that. Okay. <laughs> it's a nat one. Okay. Cool. Uh the wolf just kind of ignores you, but like stays within that proximity of you. Um you guys are actually able to yeah I just want to walk with him in silence right now Um, and you're able to make it back to where you planted that tower I'm going to look at the tower and be like do we take this down or is this just always here now no I can take it down It does take a little while, though, so that's why I left it up in case we needed to run back here. Right. Uh, You have time for a rest. Um, Bosrick, I know you wanted to approach Mazura. Does anyone else have any evening things they want to do? Where are we resting at? In the... the, Oh, the the original little portable tower. Yes, Mm -hmm. okay. And no one approached... Nothing happens? (laughs) We just walk out? (laughs) Well, we've only just gotten inside. There's side. Oh, oh, you mean walking out of? Yeah, yeah. Nothing happened apparently. I'm gonna. Uh, uh, before we go in, I will summon uh, Mary back as the adult uh, Kruthik. Okay. Yeah. She just kind of <laughs> clicks out. <laughs> yes, you're just like uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> I will look at Zira and be like, at least this time Mary's not a giant worm trying to creep over you. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. I I, I hate to tell you guys, her forms are never going to be pretty. You don't think I'm pretty, Mazura? Oh, no, you're fine with me. I Letting them know that it may not be to their tastes. I'm... Indeed. He's an ally. I'm what can you want? Moves. Ah. <laughs> All right, so um, we'll start with you then, Boz, for your uh, evening approach. Let's uh, let's get off the Seltra Dot music. It's running. Also, we haven't heard this music in a while. I'll just let Mary know. Um, <laughs> go ahead and walk around inside as you see fit. We're, we're generally safe for the moment. You did a great job last fight. The roster. They give you credit. Don't worry, they see your value. She doesn't respond to that. Crawls away. I'm, like, visibly embarrassed by, like, you know, going down and also just full of confusion. I'm just 
gonna like looking exhausted presumably um just try to find is there anywhere i can be alone and rest what are the what's the yeah the layout um, there's of... definitely there's rooms for each of you yeah i want to be alone and talk to t- talk to my my guy okay well your your guy will disappear in a little bit um uh-huh but uh, we are going to cut up to Bosric, so you can uh, yes, let's do, do that. your... It'll Mostly be because... Very quick. Ble- bless Mazora's heart. That was kind of a everyone but Mazora scene, and I want to give him a little bit of a feature here. That's, that's <laughs> fine. Uh, Mazora, once Mary walks away and starts chittering and doing her Mary things everywhere, when she's on her Mary way, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll actually just bring out my sensor, and I'll just be start moving through like motions and like training with it. Okay. <clears throat> so, Boz, you come upon Mazura doing a kata. Uh, I wanted to talk to you anyway. Want to spar and talk? Um, at the do you want to spar, I will let it loose, stop it like an inch from your face, and then recoil it and go, Sure. You can attack at your leisure. I'll go ahead and do a probing strike. And and as you as you're doing any strikes, like you see the sensors really not coming out. He's using the chain itself to actually deflect the uh, the blows. Mister Cobb, what do you need? First, I owe you an apology for that fiasco in front of the tavern. What did you do? It's what I didn't do. It's which was anything after the initial uh, the initial idea of a plan I had fell apart, and I left you un unsupported. Uh, also, I didn't. I called out something without knowing what position you were in. I'm not a tactician. I can. I had someone for that. His name was. joke that wasn't really a joke between us that the only reason I was captain is because he didn't want to get stuck doing the reports but it was an element of truth I can make a strategy but I don't know what it, I, the movements of I don't know maybe I've just been I mean I had a I had a pretty down and set routine and knew it I was up against most of my career, so maybe I've just been too... Complacent. Complacent, sheltered. But this whole thing is, and not to mention other things, has flipped my entire world upside down. So I apologize. What happened to you should never have happened. That's why I tried to get some cover on you, but you had that covered. Uh yeah, you can apologize for what you didn't do. That's the first thing. If you did nothing, that's a natural state. Doing something and doing it incorrectly or in a way that affected me negatively would have been the worst outcome. Standing there and hoping I did it right by myself, probably smarter than sending in people who were ill-equipped, unprepared, and that you had no idea of their faculties would have been a bigger problem. Strategies can't work if you don't know what you're working with, and you didn't. I assisted yeah. Zir because I knew what she could do. So she was a known variable. I didn't expect her to run as quickly as she did, so it left me exposed. That was my misjudgment. So don't take credit for my actions. Wait, are we talking about the same fight? I'm talking about the one where the the sisters came at us and you got knocked down. Oh, I no, that one you um I was actually thinking of the first fight. Well the first fight I was I was caught completely flat footed and just trying to get everyone out oh, of no. there. In that fight But I just couldn't move. You did nothing. 
See, that's why I think we got confused. In that fight, you did nothing. When we were outside of the tavern, you had a plan, and I was happy to let you lead. When no other orders came, you know, I didn't want to step on your toes. I figured you were trying to be the commander of some sorts over us. And that and fell apart. It fell apart, but that's, again, my fault. When I saw that you were either unprepared or ill-equipped, depending on which one it was, and that's your choice to make, I should have immediately taken over and fallen away from listening to you and just done what I've always done. So again, you did nothing. My problem was that I also did nothing. Your doing nothing is not a negative to me. My doing nothing is. Which brings me to the next point. We do need to figure out some way... I let, when we were going down into the cellar, I let you take the lead partly to confirm a theory. And that I'm going to just in the straight dark. up. Well, no. And I smirk when I say had, that. Like. <laughs> that you had, I presume, some form of training? Uh, yes, and I'd like to thank you and your men for that. Huh. You had a hand in some of my training. Just unknowingly. But it's how I knew that you've gotten complacent. So, that being the case, you are pro either... You are pro probably the most capable person here in terms of plans and leadership. I would loop Zir into that, but I don't know anything about how operating a uh, a robber band works, so I don't know what her qualifications are. <laughs> Zir is used to working with a very close-knit group. In the absence of that group, and now I need to know where Zir is, because I would be aware of where she is. Who knows, man? I she's who knows, not near y'all. Okay, I was about to say, do I need to do a perception check? Um, no, not at all. I'm not sure where she is. She's like she's, but she's not near she's us. She's like looking at a tree or something. Yeah, you're good. Fair. I'm gonna say. Um, so Zir has leadership qualities when everybody will blindly follow her, but so, in a scenario such as this with um, an eclectic group of this nature. She does not have the leadership for it yet. And I say yet because she is young. And the, the true training on leadership of a group of this makeup requires experience. And it's experience she's going to get. But this being um, with a group that she's unaware of is going to be a master class for her very quickly. I do not like how she came about it, but this is this is good. This is good for her. We've now had one contact with what I would consider our arching enemy, the one that said it wanted to wear us for clothes or something of that such. I don't know what the hell that thing was. I don't know how, what it's capable of, but... And, and that's going to make it the hardest thing in the world to be ready for. And yet, we still have to... We can't We can't just continue the way we've been going. We need to get organized. What we need is a leader. And I don't mean that in any kind of capacity, one way or another, that something needs to happen. The reality is, in order to run a group and have it uh, be done in such a way where it's actually um, advantageous to all of us. <sighs> the group needs someone they can trust to a degree. I will say that I have not been the best in garnering the trust and uh, admiration of the group. Um, because the thing is, a leader needs to know what everyone is capable of. Um, a tactician... For me to call out tactics in the midst of 
an engagement. I need to know what people are doing. You need to know what people are doing. We need to know what they're capable of because if something's a better fit for a situation, we know what to call for. That doesn't work if I'm screaming, um, Zier, do something interesting. That could be a number and a whole host of things that she does. Um, Quedon, uh, react this way. Well, we don't know how Quedon's going to react. Um, so these are unknown variables. A leader, someone who's making those snap decisions, would know enough to be able to push that forward. Right now, I can call out very generalities, but a leader would know enough to call out specifics. The most I was able to tell you guys in our last engagement was here and then throw weakened things from the darkness. It didn't give you much else and it allowed you to do everything you did. And it worked perfectly because I was able to see exactly what you did. That's how I'm learning about you is by watching everything you do and mentally cataloging what your potential is. You as a, what were you, a commander? Captain, it's not, it's not a big, it's, it's, I was captain of 12, 10 to 12 people, basically. Okay, so that's what the, uh, that's what that, it, honestly, it would probably be, I think a sergeant in a real, in a real military. They just called it captain because you, it was captain of that specific group. Okay. So this is something you should have also been doing, gauging the strengths and weaknesses of the people around you, because you said you're a strategist. That's. A lukewarm tactician. If you learn what makes Queden freak out, what makes Clovis switch from being I don't know to standing forward, if you know how to pull those things out, you're already halfway to a tactician because you know who to put where, when, why. Why are you not able to do these things? At the moment, it's because we've been emotionally compromised. Do you want me to say the realest thing you're ever going to hear? Go for it. Suck it up, Buttercup. Yeah, I was pretty. I've heard that one before. It's okay. it's, it's not just it, and, and yeah, it, you're absolutely right. It's just the problem is when you use your fear thing. Yes. Yeah. And on top of that, I'm, it's, it's, long story short, my baby sister died in the, in the, uh, in the plagues, in the, uh, the recent plagues, which we now know was caused by this. And I've been dealing with that for the past month. And I thought I had it covered until you switched on your, your uh, thing and apparently what I thought may not be real. It's it's I, it's as if the scab has been ripped off and something is just keeps digging into the wound. So I do have to deal with it. That's I know. good. It's good that the scab it's is just... ripped off. It's excellent because you need to face it. You don't need to grieve it. You don't need to sit there. You need to face it. You are going to deal with harrowing, disgusting things. You are going to deal with scary abominations. Everyone has lost someone. And some of it has happened in truly uncomfortable, unparallelly, painful ways. And they move on. They have to continue. If I show you my face and you feel fear, push through it. Use that. What do you think that your sister would like you to remember and be fearful? No. No. Uh, she wants you to be powerful, to be strong, to be a force. Every time you swing your sword, every time you block a blow with your shield, you are doing it for her. She is the brace that bolsters your shield arm. She is the, the smallest strands within your muscles that swing your blade. Use it. Don't 
be fearful of it. Be strengthened by it. Because if you believe she was strong, was she strong? She lasted eight days under that under that sickness. So you must now be her strength. What she showed, you are now. When you think of her, it should make you more powerful. Not less. And that's that's not grief. That's acceptance. Way more powerful than grief. Here, I know that. I just needed to catch this up to it. I hate to tell you, but, but we're I'm getting a bit there. of a race. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. You're right. You're in a bit of a race right now, and they need to sink You're quickly. Right. You're right. Because had Clovis not been able to talk her down... We would have had to put her down. And... We would have been in a position that would have made it difficult for us. Also, leave your insignia at the door. What do you mean? You're here, not there. If you're going to lead something, lead this. That doesn't matter. It's true. Every time we walk in, you're... I am Bosrek, and I and now I will take. I'll wrap it up, and I'll go. I am Bosrek, champion of people who don't exist and are mostly dead. I fe show fealty to you on behalf of their falling corpses. They are dead or gone. Well, I really don't know where my my employers are right now, so that's a good point. But oh, that and uh, let me. I ask, work for high elves, I'm, I'm, and I'm going to look flattery. around and go. Have you seen a coin fall anywhere? Then you're bosses don't matter they pay you for that fealty now you have to do it for honor for loyalty a little heavier than a coin leave that behind because the more you talk about them it's possible the less someone here would think you're for us be for us do you think I Zir is jumping up every time you're like, hello, I am the people you used to rob and then used to chase you and potentially want to lock you up and kill you? Do you feel that this gives her an overwhelming sense of joy to be walking in your company? No, but in fairness, she almost shut my eye out, so. In fairness, I'm going to reach in and I'm going to drop about seven of the medallion signias from your uniform and some of them have blood on it. What would you like to do right now? Their lives were mine. I took them. Swing, Captain of the Guard. Point made. Is he swinging or is he just saying point made? He's saying point made. He's not playing that game. Yeah. He's, he's, Good. He's, he... <laughs> Good. That is behind you. Turns out it's also behind me. I don't see you as an enemy. I don't see you as a captain. I see you as Bosrek. I hope to be around long enough to see what you become. What you are now is this. What I will say on behalf of everybody looking for something more from everyone here, show us more. And as I say, show us more, I'm going to whip the chain out one last time and very quickly ravel it and just hang it from my belt. I'm happy being the enigmatic, evil, unknown of a group, despite the fact that I've charged in to save more people than anyone else at this point. But they all look at me with disgust, with fear, with malice sometimes. And I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to be the focal point of, oh, we don't know if someone can step up, put on their big boy or big girl pants, and be the opposite. In fairness, the only time I've looked at you in fear is when you shot me with that thing. 
I, I am. I understand you have strange powers, and that's the only part of things that I'm uncertain about. You, as a person, I've got no problems with. Even though I have, probably should. <laughs> have you not seen everything that's happening? Oh, I'm I've pretty seen everything. Sure, I'm pretty sure that we all have things we don't know about. I'm pretty sure we're all going to be evolving as we go through this process. My enigmatic powers are just as enigmatic as everyone else's. But I'll let you in on a secret. I'm not a sorcerer. I wouldn't know the difference. I don't I don't do, deal in magic. I That's deal probably in... smart. It's probably really smart. But I also don't put all of my faith in it either, so don't feel bad. Because the day that fails, you'll need something else. So what do you need from me to be... What comes next? Well, the idea I had was to start in introducing some of the routine practices we had in the vigil. I know you said that's behind me, but doesn't mean it's there's nothing there's not value to be had from the experience. Like practicing together and we don't really str striking camp basically just involves shutting this thing down, which Clovis apparently knows how to do. But you yeah, know, preparing meals Formations, that sort of thing. Which you, as someone who has indirectly trained uh, via the vigil, you, I, I presume you have some understanding of. Question for you. What the vigil did worked well for what the vigil had. What do you have here? Substantially less, but... Substantially less people than I'm used to, but... In theory, it should more or less work the same. What I meant to say in not so many words was we are not the vigil. Everyone here operates differently. You're used to an, uh, a group of very ordered soldiers. These ordered soldiers all work exactly the same they do the same things and maybe one or two of them will have a little doot 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 something special that they'll bring to your organized unit we are not that we are a group a group of very different individuals who all function at completely different levels and have completely different strengths and weaknesses and this isn't the strength the weakness of Steve swings his sword slightly faster than Bob. If you're going to make anything that kind of draws us together and makes us work as a unit, then you need to get to know the people in your unit. Figure out how they work, how they fight, how they think to a degree, and how they react to a degree, and make things that work for us, the vigil is again in the past. Don't look to them. Be thankful for whatever training they gave you. And whatever purpose they put in your heart, those things too are dead. But they are experiences you can draw from. The biggest thing you're going to have to do is leave the vigil behind leave those leave all of those intertwined feelings behind as far as you know you are the last of the vigil which means there is no vigil scary thought but very possible wonderful thought you can now move beyond it you can become better I'll have to. I look forward That's to it immensely. I suppose the next step is meeting the rest of the troops. Unless you well, have a a comprehensive list of what you can do. 
I can shoot things, I can hit things, and me and Mary work pretty good as a team. I'm also good for distractions and or cover. Good to know. Yeah. Also need to make sure those sisters don't uh, don't corner you again because as I understand it, Mary, you turned Mary into. Uh, you said it, it, the 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 text mentions that cold. Cold stops the mist, right? Yes, like uh, Mary, when needed, um, I have a. Mary can become an ice spider queen. That if she's maybe in the vicinity more. of them, then maybe why they were so uh, they were so hell bent on getting rid of you at the tavern. They were able to... Yeah, well, that's the thing, is that my spider was out. They obviously knew it was disaster to them. But if they do get close enough to hit me, I, I, I could still affect them. Not as much as I'd like, but a let. I bet a, a bit. I have two ways of dealing with them. One involves me getting smacked around, and the other involves Mary. It's... Leave the first one for a last resort. <laughs> hopefully, um, hopefully they're not magic sword proof. Well, if I can get some little bit of uh, ice around them, then it sounds like they're going to be proof of nothing as you just slice through them. But they need to be cold first. It depends how many people you're going to try to rally to your cause tonight. Uh, tonight... Certainly not uh, Queden. I think he needs a night to gather himself. No, he's I might have... down. On the other hand, it might be uh, wise to look in on him if he's open to that. And I need to find some sort of olive branch for Zier because... Yeah, it can't go on. I've is, got to find some common ground. Is Boz wearing his um, regalia? He, I have a plan for that. No, no, I'm asking. I'm asking. Are you wearing? That? Well, he would be, but he he has fully. At, okay, no, that was important to to like. Yeah, no, maybe it, it, maybe in front of her, taking that and throwing it into a fire. Yeah, I will actually. I actually. Oh, for 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 um for for coolness, can we say we're actually on the top of the tower? Like, is there an a, an a part where the tower opens out? Uh, you're muted. I would good. imagine I would have to unmute in order to talk to you. I would imagine you would have to be outside somewhere in order to be able to train with the kind of weapon Missouri uses. So yes, yeah. I'm I'm willing yeah. to retcon it being on top if Missouri is okay with that. Oh, I'm perfectly so, okay is, with that. Does he, does he pull his uh, his? The, the tabard off look at it and just kind of let it I, fly off I will quickly take my chain and wrap it and pull it back and then push it directly into you in front of I can do that. her if you're going to renounce what she's been fighting and what's been fighting her do it in front of her It doesn't matter if you show me you're no longer going to hold on to the past. You need to show it to the person most affected by it. That's fair. Good idea. Bad timing, poor execution. Positive two out of five. Well, then off I go for the four out of five, at least. No, I meant in uh, in terms of how you just pulled that off. I gave you a two out of five in terms of a, a ranking for how you effectively got rid of it. Uh, next time, go for the five out of five in front of Zir. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, uh, eventful talk. Um, then good spar. If you want to do that again sometime, do sure. let me know. Next stop. Good luck. 
I'll probably be out here for a while. You know, I don't, I don't rest. So, right. Okay. So moving on to. Right. Well, um, I Queen, definitely have. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, Queen, Queen messaged me about a moment. Um, so I'm going to cut to that. Yeah. Because that would have been happening simultaneously. Yeah. Yep. I want to head to just the nearest solo bedroom uh, or just rest room. Uh, and you see me uh, look down at the wolf in front of me. And I, I open the door and I gesture. I say, get in the bedroom. Get, get, get in the bedroom. And if don't don't make a comment, I, I know you're gonna make a joke about that. If if you comment on how many beds there are in that bedroom, I'm gonna hit you. I don't care if you're a wolf. All right. We did. I'm not who you think I am. I'm sorry. What's I know going who on? You want me to be? He said. I, I know. Buzz. He said. I know. I know who you want me to be. When you panicked, oh, okay. you took a form that you liked. A form that <laughs> you felt comfortable with. Okay, okay. When okay. I was able to gather myself, I took yeah, a form that yeah. I knew you would not freak out about when you came out of it. Believe it or not, Queen, I've been with you for a while. I've been with yeah. you since before him. And now I'm freaking out. Now, now I'm freaking out. Okay, okay. Uh, sorry about that. Then, uh, d d d hello. No, I'm. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not who you want me to be. Well, it wouldn't make much sense, would it? <laughs> That's sort of the whole reason why I went on this whole Zarakis journey, became a cleric in the first place. To rid all of that. So, who are you then? His manifestation. You. I'm the part of you that you gave up when you broke his laws. He's seeing if you can earn me back. Zarakis? Yes. Hmm. I'm. You should realize unworthy. he doesn't want you to fail, Weedon. If he didn't see potential in you, if he hadn't seen potential in you from the beginning, Grey Walker would have struck you down when you made your first transaction. And yet you were able to scour. All of Rovania, all of Orum, for necromancy spells. Do you not think for a moment that Zarakis didn't know about each and every one? Of course I know that now. But that's why I've devoted, I've tried to devote my path towards writing that. It and you've done well. Well. But you committed a crime against a sacred moment. Thars was a good man, but his time had come. Do you think he would have rather lived the life that was ahead of him? Than the peace that you offered? The peace you tried to rob from him? I know you thought that what you were doing was for him, but we didn't be honest. It was for you. I wanted that back. I wanted that. As you start to cry, the wolf is actually going to come forward and like put its head in your hand. Kind of giving you that little bit of comfort. Yeah, I accept. Um... He knows. And these people, these are the closest that, these are the only people that have ever treated me as anything other than vermin. And I can't help but but seeing 
the pitfalls. Uh, like I, I didn't, I didn't think I was worthy of, of any companion, for years after, and I feel like I'm failing them. I feel like I'm, I feel like that that maybe. Zarakis doesn't want me to fail, but maybe I want me to fail. Maybe I don't think that I can do this. Um, as you say that, uh, you feel a little, like, a sharp pain in your hand, and you look down, and the wolf has bitten onto your hand, and it lets go, and it says, Stop that. Stop that. You are a chosen of Zarakis. You have seen the face of the Greystalker, and you still walk. You walk the balance between life and death. You have, care you have cared for plague victims. You have cared for the elderly and the young. You have given them the peace of death. If there is anyone in this castle worthy, it is you, Quedon Zanas. Now, I cannot convince you of that. Those four people who have chosen to spend their time with you, they cannot convince you of that if you do not believe it yourself. Well, spend a lifetime caring for others and guess what gets left behind? Thanks for the reminder. Oh, what should I call you? I did spend a lifetime caring for others. I have been caring for others since the dawn of time. You can call me whatever you like. I am a piece of you, after all. I answer to whatever oh. name you give me. I'm really bad at coming up with names on the spot. Uh, okay. If I am I mean, a piece of you, if I am your shadow, perhaps call me Shadow. Oh, that's, that's like super dark and edgy. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, it smiles when you say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, look, I got to keep up appearances, man. Like they, like, no, well, no, honestly, I, I, I think, I think honestly, I think the veil has completely broken with those four. I, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know, maybe there's still some hope. Uh, I, um, I, thank you for everything, obviously. I, I, my, my life is, is indebted to everything that, that Zarakis and, and that now you have, have, have done to right my wrongs. Uh, I think I need to go make one more wrong right. Good. Because I'm tired. And uh, Shadow walks forward into your shadow and lays down and then completely melts with your shadow and disappears. Right. Uh, feeling a newfound uh confidence uh i'm gonna go over and find clovis all right go for it uh where would you be <laughs> uh reading in one of the rooms yeah uh i'll just yeah find find your room and and, and give it a knock come in oh hey um We're alive. Yeah. Against all odds, it would seem. <laughs> Certainly. Um, it was some good, uh, good fighting back there. The, the turtle skin, the... Well, Still trying to figure that one out, honestly. Um, and the... Well, I guess you were... I don't, I don't know how there you were for the, the voice part. Mm -hmm. uh, Katya, when she dropped Dimitri and stood down, it's because I said something to her, but I didn't really say it. It hard to explain. It it was my thought. It was it was what I wanted to convey, but the the words, the the power 
the reasoning, mm. I, I don't know what you want to call it, whatever it was, that part wasn't mine. That part was Stendar's. And that's not something that I thought, <laughs> it's not, I mean, I've been going through my books. It's not something that's recorded as yes. being done. And something else, I, the books, all of, I've been reading through this whole time, all of my prayer books, and I know the words haven't changed, but they're New different now. Things that my mind, I suppose, pushed off into the side unimportant sections of scripture, messages meant for someone else, they stick out at me now. These books were about peace and civilization, about sitting in my walls and reading my books and the glory of, of a thousand people doing all the jobs that you don't want to so you can do what you want. And now they're about standing outside the wall, making sure all those... Yes people inside can do what they want to do. How profound. You are incredibly well-educated, better at words than I think you think you are. Perhaps Stendar sees that too. Perhaps. You came here for something, though. Oh, I just, um... I, um... First of, first of all, can I just sort of gauge, um, I, I know I may not have been the, the most helpful since we arrived. I'm going to stand um, by the door the whole time. I, it's fine. No, if, I'll, it's, I'm sorry. Can I, do, yeah, no, no, no. Just, it was yeah. kind of making me uncomfortable. Sure. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no. Should I, I can sit. Yes, I'll, I'll sit. Um, I, uh, I wasn't intending to, you know, be a whole, like, emotional mess uh, throughout a lot of this and, and I feel like it's been weighing the group down a little bit maybe that I'm sort of uh, like too wrapped up in, in my own quests and my, and my own emotional journeys to, to really be a helpful part of the team is this all I'm sorry am I I'm, am I just venting is this does this have any weight to you uh, we didn't I think looking at you, I can see a lot of the way that I felt when first we got here. And I still feel that way a lot of the time. So I can understand why you're getting in front of your own eyes and not seeing who you are. What you can do out there on the field, none of the rest of us can. Some of us, it seems, can, you know, give longevity to themselves. You... I guess it probably doesn't mean much when you say it to yourself, because it's what you've been doing your whole life. The same way reading these books back to myself for most of my life didn't mean anything new, because it, all I had for frame of reference was what I was already doing, the way I already knew them. You are... You are the difference between our lives and our deaths. Out there on that field, if we didn't have you with us, however much of a wreck you see yourself as, we would have stopped fighting a long time ago, because there just wouldn't have been any fight left. And as a fellow cleric, though that part of the magic is not something I've figured out yet, I understand, God guy, if you will. Yeah, God guy. I understand what it means for your job to be giving and giving and giving. It takes a lot. And I think you're not giving yourself enough credit for that. It's taking a lot out of me now. And I hope I'm better at concealing it than I feel like I am to do the things that I do. But it's in part because I know that you're there. I know that if I fall down on one knee and struggle to get back up, that you can give that back to me. 
and the healing, yeah, that's the major part of it. But that's not the only part. If nobody else, you provide a service to me, a reassurance that helps me figure out what it is that I need to do and how to do it and not be overwhelmed by all this ridiculous nonsense. These vampire women and zombie bodyguards. I can barely keep track of it all. Yeah. The feeling is mutual. I get where you're coming from. Thank you, Clovis. I, um... Something has been weighing on me, though. Uh, You're the closest to a... a, a You're the closest to a friend that I've, I've made in this group so far and and we were talking the other day and I, I can't I can't stop thinking about it um you asked me if um you asked me if, if the reason why why I'm so afraid of lichens comes from my association with Zarakis and and well I, I didn't sort of I, I didn't sort of say yes or no I just sort of let you believe that and it, it's been weighing on me um can I trust you for a moment yes Clovis yes uh Zarakis's form is is well, it's, it's it's but an unfortunate coincidence to it. Um, uh, I I had a friend once in the woods, and we were attacked by lycanthropes. I. Uh, well, we were talking and, and getting to know each other I, and I tried to protect him but you know how it happens um, and I was able to stabilize him it was my first real attempt at, at clerical duties really perhaps it was some prophetic anyway uh, I spent 30 days caring for this this friend of mine going closer and closer and closer and and closer knowing that by the next full moon, well, there were no promises, and I tried to stay with him. I, I, he helped me chain him up, even, and he got free, and he tried to kill me when he turned, and I had to, you know... Um, we did. I'm so sorry. It it's it was a long, long, long time ago. But it's why friends or anything past that is so difficult, and it's why I'm so afraid. Of the God who has given me so much. Because for all that he has given me, for all that he has saved me, for all of the dark paths that I went down in trying to avenge my friend's death. Well, I, I became someone that It was very, very unlike the person I was when I knew him, and and I am just always afraid that, that the next friend is it, it, 
it, <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's uh, that's that's why I don't like wolves. Thank you for telling me that. There's, we've all sort of brushed on it before. Trust is not easy, just in general. <laughs> in a place like this, incredibly difficult. But I think that we're stronger for it when we do find it. And I want you to know that you can, you can trust me as much as you have. And having seen that from you, I, I well, let's be realistic, self-preservation's not really my strong suit, but I feel more confident putting the trust in you that I already was. And I'm glad if no. if we were to continue being well trusting each other, I I didn't want my uh masking of the truth to go on. In terms of what we were talking about earlier, uh, answer a question, or I guess question and answer with an answer, I, that, I'm that i jumping off that metaphor right now. Sure. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. Knowing that about you now, and knowing that even with all of that on your back, you've still used your power to help us as much as you could. You've stepped into harm's way, you've come to our assistance, and you've trusted us while you were dealing with all of that. It tells me everything that I need to know about you. And if they don't already, which, uh, and Clovis, like, does that thing where he, like, tries to pick up your eye contact. Uh, some of them probably do, more so than you think, respect you for it. I'm sure they will in time. Because that, that is incredible. And in the moments where it's harder to reckon with all of that, you've got shelter behind my shield. Arrakis pulled me out of the darkness and and so it seems have you that's our job isn't it as <laughs> as what are we heroes my head's not big enough for that just a guy <laughs> with a shield yeah and I'm just a just a grave digger. <laughs> Thank you for this. Mm -hmm. You're more than that, and you've helped me see that perhaps I'm a little bit more than that myself. Um, uh, this I'm gonna go be... sleep. Oh no, no 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 no! Yeah, this may be a little. I don't know if they did this sort of thing and um, wherever wherever you learned all of your stuff. Uh, but um, back at my convent, uh, especially whenever a, a new person would arrive, new uh, one of the god guys, we would uh, exchange pieces of literature. Uh, a way of, you know, getting to know each other, working people into the fold and stuff. Um, I know I've seen you with it least the one the one book um that's the wanna... one would you like to trade oh, i feel like uh, perhaps sure there are some messages in here that might be of comfort to you this is not like a even evangelical thing but <laughs> i think as as a caretaker of graves and mm. and all of that i think you hold a higher place on my side of things than you might realize. And I think Stendar might have some messages for you that might uh, 
help improve your, your vision of yourself. And I think your god might have some things to teach me, because I'm not so sure the old turtle's uh, quite what I thought he was. Might be time to expand my horizons. Well, um... Absolutely, take you up on that. And he, he, he is like trying to hide how much joy what you just said, <laughs> uh, like, brought across his face. It's just like stifling smirks, mm. at like. Mind the at... spine. It's a little. I'm not very kind to my books. Um, yeah, and forgive me if it it takes. Uh, I'm I'm not the fastest studier. Um. Oh, I've read that if... book at least 200 times. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Clovis. Uh, yeah. Happy and to help. He uh, takes out, uh, yeah, from, like, back underneath his cloak. It's like, this, it's, it's even worse. Like you, ju you just said that you don't take very good care of your books. And this is, this is like, parchment that's been like <laughs> like of like almost like different sizes of, of different pages too um that's like been compiled from like various different places um like he's clearly like added his own stuff mm. like almost like a study guide into like what was like a Zarakis prayer book he's like i i took my own notes um yeah i hmm it's um You've certainly got a passion. Well, <laughs> hey, it's... that's half the job. It's my life's work, and also my desk's work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm so sorry. That was that was. I'll awful. take good that care. Was really bad. As will I. Uh, I hope your rest is sound. Hmm. Yours is. And he sort of stands and like gives like a. Like what? Are the, like real awkward. Like, like nod back and forth exchanges before just <laughs> like backing out, like like backwards out of the room. <laughs>
<laughs> it's pull, I guess then he pulls out his finger. I was specifically looking for the fire damage, but oh, I know, but she will but not yeah, hand you her that, rapier. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. And he just takes out his tinderbox and <laughs> sets the uh, tavern on fire. Oh, yeah. We ha- were on opposite sides, but those sides don't matter anymore. What matters is surviving here. So, I'm not Bozrick Cobb, captain of the Vermilion Vigil anymore. Just Bozrick Cobb. I hand the dagger back. Um, okay. It's kind of symbolic trying to leave like all past conflict in the past, but it, I don't know if it were. I'm not a philosopher or a writer or a bard or anything of that variety, so it may not have landed. Um, no, it's, it's okay. It, I know it means a lot to you, and so I'm trying to make it mean a lot to me. But you were just kind of a group that we stole from. Uh, but yes, um, no, I, I know that was probably really hard for you to leave that behind. Well, it didn't, more or less it was taken from it, but yeah. it is far away now and it doesn't matter. What is that? What does that mean? Where I mean logistically. Where, logistically, it means well, we've looked into the face of our enemy and it specifically said it wants to wear us like clothing. Mm, yeah. And I was having this conversation with Missouri. Um we need to get organized as a group. Okay. That means what it should mean is being able to work and knowing what each of us can do. Now, I'm aware that trust is not easy. And up till now, because of our, because of where, where we stood in the past, I was incredibly standoffish. And for that, I want to apologize. Oh. Thanks. I'm sorry I don't listen to you guys. Uh... That is regrettably one thing we're going to have to work on, but... And I'm aware uh, that that's less, probably the last thing you want to hear. No, um, it's okay. Uh, Missouri and I also talked. Um, and he said some pretty important things to me. I don't know how he got smart the way that he is. Um, probably a lot of bad experiences, says my read. <laughs> that's... That's kind of what he said, yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, um, I, I've only ever worked with people that I've known since diapers. So I I've only can't... ever worked with people that I've that I've trained with extensively. So it's not quite the same, but it's a similar boat. Okay. And I'm sure that our clerics haven't really done any work with any one of this variety. So hey, we're ahead of them on that. <laughs> oh, I suppose. Um I mean, so what do you is there an expectation going forward? Are we Well, optimally, I would like to have everyone sit down. We tr- we iron out exactly what each of us can do what each of us can bring to the table, what in any given situation we can reliably be expected to carry out. Like, for instance, I got no magic. 
I got nothing. You with your, um, with that uh, spirit. Your, was it your sibling? Um, no, I've always just kind of been able to talk to things since I was a kid. That's why I was deaf when we picked names. For what it's worth, I empathize about your sibling. My little sister died in the plagues, too. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's... Is that why you um handled the Katya situation the way you did? Honestly, I was just tr tr trying to grasp onto anything she might be interested in. Mm. She mentioned the knife, and I was like, "Oh, she likes sharp objects. Maybe I can offer her the sword." I, I, we didn't do many hostage negotiations, and <laughs> where I came from. Well, you did great. Not if good that enough. matters. No, I I don't I don't think we should think like that. I mean, we're just trying to survive. I don't think there's ever gonna be a not good enough. It's just gonna be a let's keep going. Damn. Eyes ahead, <laughs> not behind kind of thing. Damn you're good. <laughs> I'm the best thief ever. <laughs> she like regrets it. I can I can definitely <laughs> say I can definitely say this with utmost certainty that there is literally no one else here who can do what you can do. I mean, I have to, and I show you, I have boots of elven kind. I have to wear these just to sneak around because I have this. It's chainmail. Hmm. So it cost me like a month's pay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's crazy. I don't um I don't really have well I have this ring and she like holds up well she zero I um has like a ton of jewelry and I don't think we've really talked about that. Somehow it stays very quiet. She's like almost like learned to adapt to the fact that she has jewelry on. Um but she's got like earrings, multiple necklaces, uh multiple rings but you see she kind of holds up her hand and there's like a ring in particular that looks interesting um that has like this eye shape on it that's similar to the clasps that she has on her cloak um uh so when you heard that voice earlier i didn't hear it um because i have this i took it Andy. from someone I didn't realize it was magical at the time um but ever since then if anyone tries to talk to me telepathically they can't unless I let them so I guess if are, are, are you are you the leader are we having leaders I think as far as I can be I suppose if I have to be a focal point, I can okay. call things out. 100% anytime we're going to need something sneaky, unlocking, that is your spotlight. None I of us so. would ever, none of us would ever dispute that. Um, mm -hmm. Well, it killed me, so. In yes. fairness, it would have killed anyone who. I would have probably got had far worse. Oh. I mean, look at this. He's, he's, he's a full chain mail. <laughs> hmm. I am a big wall. That's what I am. And that's... As far as being leader, I'm willing to try to take points on... Certainly in combat, I can call things out. Um, okay. I don't think I'm the best for diplomacy. Uh, I was trained by high elves, and high elves are ridiculously flowery. Mm. Oh, you do not want to know the number of wrapped knuckles I've had ruining etiquette training. Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> Could the two of you roll a perception check for me? You're yeah. outside, right? Yeah. Yes. 
Two. Seventeen. Okay. Um, Zir, as Bosric is talking, and like this is a nice conversation, you notice something that unsettles you. Cool. All of the sounds of nature that you heard before, creepy though they were, stop. No birds, no bugs, not even the wind through the trees. Was it a sudden stop, or was it like a fade? Can I pinpoint when it stopped? You can't pinpoint when, because you just now notice it. Now, mm-hmm. like... And, um, you see... With passive perception 14, do I clock that she noticed that? Um, I don't know. It depends on if she wants to show that. She's gonna say something pretty much right away. Okay. Yeah. So... Uh, yeah, why don't we go inside? <laughs> um, as you say that, um, you see crawling down the, the side of your tower what appears to be a displacer beast. Um, but its face is, it looks like there's kind of like a skull on top of its face. You recognize this is probably um, Missouri's companion. And it sort of like starts to sniff around, and then it looks in the corner and starts to growl low in the back of its throat. And that's when you do start to hear on the wind a very soft humming. Just... And you know what? Uh, Audience, I 100% stole this song from one of my favorite movies, Zero Shame. Hmm... Oh, how rude of me. Do not let me interrupt. You're doing so well. And as you look up, you see a woman in a long purple gown with a veil over her face, just kind of sitting there. Oh, don't mind me. I'm sorry. I did not mean to interrupt you. I was just having a walk in the, in the moonlight and... Um, I've interrupted you. I apologize. That's a, that's a dangerous time to be out. What a Isn't beautiful it? creature. And uh, you see she gets down on her knee and she holds out her hand. And Mary kind of like moves back and then it sniffs again and walks over. Then it starts to rub against her. She says, oh, what a lovely creature you are. Is it yours? No. No, it is not yours. Someone in the tower, perhaps. You do not strike me as one who is familiar with this uh, sort of creature. It's a comrade of ours. The milady, I presume. Ah, how rude. And uh, she bows very deep and takes the veil off of her face. And you see a half-elven woman with long, like, dark black hair and completely full sclera black eyes. She says, My name is Madame Elisabeth Dalossier. At your service. Nice to meet you. I'm Buzzard Cobb. I know who you are. And you are Zia, the sewer rat. You call yourself Death? No? Zia is just for companions. And she kind of narrows her eyes. Then Death it is. So I would like to be companions in the future, I think that we could accomplish great things together. Why are you out here? Because someone new has come into our realm. Someone new has been speaking to my nieces. Someone hmm. has been speaking to that beach in the church. But I wanted to meet them for myself. 
And then I sensed something so curious. Something I have not seen in the thousand years. This lovely animal. And I had to know. Which one of you summoned this creature? Neither of us. Obviously, there is not a magical bone in your body. Yeah. You impact the wildlife. Why? See, wildlife is wise to run from me. So it's fear. The wildlife knows. Fear. We oui, fear is a good word for it. And why shouldn't we do the same? Because you are higher thinking than the creatures of this world. Do you understand that fear is not necessarily something to be run from? Fear is something to be harnessed. Fear is something to allow you to rise above your pitiful mortal state. If you'd like to run, I will not chase you. You can go back into your little tower and tell them what you have seen. But I wanted to offer a friendly greeting first. After all, you tried to do right by little Katya. I was fond of her. Tried. We oui. tried. Failed? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the master at the center of this town does not grant wishes. He only wipes away the failures that he sees before him. Had you stayed in the basement a little longer, you probably would have heard her scream. She will be reborn, perhaps. But I do not know. I don't know how the Master treats things that are created here. Only things that come from the outside. But I believe you did it with an honest heart, and for what it is worth, it is appreciated. It seems like we have a lot to talk about. Each other or the three of us? All of us. Yes, I suppose you do. Um, are you okay to stay here for a moment? Probably not. Uh, probably not, but I suppose I can. Oh, no, it's okay. Could you go, go. tell everyone? No, go ahead. It's fine. Oh, I, I want can... to be staying. I don't need to talk to the rest of them. I just wanted to get to look at you. And she's to say, she's I, speaking I to Mary, or she's speaking to she's you. speaking to you, but she is petting Mary. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, you are on the roof. Yes. Well, your knowledge is immense. You said um, you want to work together? Do me a favor, Mez. Roll a perception check for me with disadvantage. Work together, work together, yes, but let's work together and more convince you to stop working against mm. these pearls you are seeking, this matron. It's a 16 and an 18. Okay. Um, okay. Denied. Well, all I could do was offer the consequences of your actions would be your own. I've been told that twice today, actually. So, um, noted. Hmm. No 
Oh, I don't think you understand. You've been told that by people who can hurt your body, maybe even hurt your mind, but you've never really faced what makes you inadequate. Seer. Seer, I need you to roll a wisdom save for me. Is this a spell or magical effect? It is. <laughs> And yes, nice. you can have advantage on this. Hell yeah! <laughs> I love being this city. Or... Okay, good, because that first roll was bad. Uh, 13. Okay. Um, Zir, you uh, have the benefits of a short rest. However, um, as she says, you have not um quite grasped your inadequacy. Osric, you see this too. Out of nowhere, you see what looks like a hooded figure run up and grab Zir by the throat. And as the hood falls back, you see Kelebek with black leaking out of her empty eye sockets and screams at Zir, You did this to me, you worthless child! Zir, you take 30 psychic damage as she stabs a dagger into your chest. Cool, I'm down. Uh, Chicken nugget time, baby. <laughs> Captain Cobb, take your companion back in the house and mind her to watch her tongue in the future when she's talking to her betters. She scratches Mary behind the ears and snaps her fingers, and the sound comes back. That's another thing we're going to have to work on. <laughs> and I will take her inside and look for uh, Clovis or... Um, or so, some... actually, Queden, as you are coming out of Clovis's room, the door bursts open and Bosric is holding the, as it appears to you, completely uninjured body of Zir, but she is unconscious. We just met one of the other, one of the other big wigs around here. It was not uh, fun. Okay. Uh, lay her down. Let her, I can. Okay. Um, Six seconds has passed. She... Here, roll a death save. Jesus fucking Christ. You <laughs> get a fucking. You get a cure wounds. Uh, you get, okay. I mean. <laughs> Nat 20, 20, you're up with one health anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Fuck All that right. bitch. <laughs> Does that mean I expend a cure wounds or not? Uh, uh, you do, I'll but say... you haven't had your sleep yet, so you'll get it back. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Then in that case, take. Uh, uh, I'm not on the right screen for this. My apologies. I was leveling up when this happened. Um, uh, you're gonna get some fucking healing. Hell yeah! You're gonna, you're gonna get some fucking uh. You'll get a second level cure wounds, and that'll give you eight hit points. Nice. So that's, that's eight on better top than of nothing. one. Yeah, so you're at nine. nine total. You're conscious Excellent. with nine. Yeah. Noise. So you come back to consciousness. Um, and as you feel on your body for wounds, because you felt the dagger go into your body. Yeah. There are no wounds. Cool. Yeah, y'all see Zir kind of. I didn't cure anything. Weekly, like. <laughs> Uh, I'm 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 actively going to be like you're I'm, I'm obviously you're not alright but will you be alright will you be okay do, do you need anything he's actively trying to what the hell happened be better there than no, before <laughs> there was um, no wound I I feel like I barely did anything Queen you, you see a line of black blood leaking out of Zir's nose um I I reach for a I yeah I I reach for a bit of cloth and I. I just immediately, you know, hovering over her, I, I immediately fix that. Uh, uh, Is there anything that I can uh, glean? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I, I was in the whole healing mood. I can. It, you're your own person. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Um. Good. Where's Mez? Upstairs, I think. Still. Um. We we need to talk to him. Yeah, we do. Well, we need to talk to everybody. Um, Honestly, well, 
Should we maybe I rest in first and let's approach it in the morning? Black goo? What's let's, going on with this? Yeah, let's sleep. Um, okay. So as yeah. you guys make and, your way. Uh, to I will really quick also check it, just really quick check it. Uh, Quentin, I didn't, I wanted to check in, I know we we're about to go to bed, but I know I made a real big ask of you back there, and it was a little rough trying to get you, are you, are you oh, alright? has happened. Oh, oh, yes, I, um, thank you, boss, I'm, I'm okay, it, it was a, a lot happening at once, as is now, um, what happened to, I'm gonna need more information, but you're gonna, okay, um, Tomorrow. I had a... Tomorrow. I, I... Clovis set me on the right path. Yeah. And also, I... I oh, is that leather armor you've got? We need to get you some better armor. <laughs> that... Where's Mary? God, your brain is in so many places. Mary yes. did not come back It is. That's how I cope. <laughs> <laughs> I compartmentalize. I move I move on to the next, the next thing I need to deal with. <laughs> Um, as the um, the creature disappeared, uh, Mary ran back upstairs. Um, and so we're actually going to cut to the top. So, Zora, you're doing your uh, thing, and Mary comes over the side in a form that you did not put her in. Uh, oh. She looks like, like I said, the displacer beast with the skull. Wait, displacer? I think that's a. Oh, that's beyond her skill. I think, isn't it? Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. So at seeing Mary, I've never seen this form. So immediately, I'll turn around, sensor spinning, ready to attack it. It kind of like shakes its head and sort of like, Mystique transforming in the X Men movies. There's like a bristle effect, and it's the carrying crawler. Cool. It says, Azura. Oh. Yeah. We thought you were the only one. The only one what? The only one who can hear me. Everybody downstairs can hear you. Not like she could. She changed my face. Who's she? can't remember where is she gone I don't know that she was ever here how do you make a nightmare have nightmares um, and then how, Mary Mary actually shrinks down to a ferret and crawls up onto your shoulder. Um, how the wings that I get when I spawn them, are they capable of gliding? Um, I'll allow it. Yeah, because they're, they're a different type of wing. So the fastest way down, I'm immediately going to tuck the ferret, take my, um, my shroud form, my wings draconic outstretched, and then just fly down yeah. the outside. Because, hey, you know, there's no faster way down. <laughs> uh -huh. And immediately upon hitting, I'll tuck my wings, open the door, be like, we must talk now. Something is here. Um, Zir and Clovis are in their rooms, but you catch Quedon and Boz. I can't hear Boz. You're muted, Boz. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, Zir and I met it. It wasn't fun. Zira's still, like, laying on the ground. She has not moved. <laughs> okay. Is she okay? Because she's just laying there. <laughs> well, she is now. She I'm better. She took a pretty bad hit. <laughs> she, like, puts a thumbs I'm, up. <laughs> um, I'm going to go get Clover. And <laughs> I think it's a good use of my stop, Preston. stop doing that, Preston. I know you want to be in the scene. I'm gonna bring you into the scene, Preston. What an animal! I go, Preston, I go to get Chloe. Is he, like, is he reading a book or a Playboy? What is this? Stop chewing on it. 
No, like out of nowhere, he's like, it's it's like um. I remember being sixteen. Yeah, Clovis. It's illogical. It's like looking like a giraffe or something. So, Clovis. Did Queden say Clovis. I'm gonna go get Clovis? Yeah. Okay, I'll be like, I just, I, I just run and yeah. I, I like to think and hope that poor Dimitri is just off in some other room, just blissfully asleep, oh. not worrying about any of this. I did not Kate, cover where Kate Dimitri McKinnon, is. That's are you so okay? Funny. This is um. I you like look, yeah. I like to think that we let him do. That in fairness, Clovis is over here reading Playboy. Trouble. We shouldn't have this small kid around. I am around. very troubled. <laughs> The, the, It'd wear off that the, fast. The the whole team is needed promptly. Uh, Zero okay. was in danger. We we don't know what's yeah, going on. Fine, oh, uh, out the door. What's happening? Pulling on his pants. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, sorry. <laughs> God. Yeah, he was Can really studying my book there, wasn't wasn't he? Uh, uh, so, These diagrams. And I am still in shroud form, so I have the draconic wings and the smoke billowing off of me a bit. Jesus what happened? <clears throat> what happened? Well, uh, I was out talking with Zier, and I believe we met another one of the uh, the the four. Like, lady, uh, Dreadmaster, pronounce her name for me one more time. Lisabeth Nalusier. To, I'm not going to be able to ever pronounce that. Here, no. I will write it in the chat. <laughs> can you put it in the Discord see. chat so we can actually see? Her name is her name is Liz the bitch, and I hate uh, her. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. Liz a bitch, uh, yeah. Liz a bitch. Liz a bitch. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, God. yeah, she's. I'm guessing she's one of the four because nothing else could have power enough to. Apparently, pacify Mizora's companion. Is she? What do you mean, pacify? Still here? Do we need? And to I'm see looking it? at my shoulder. She seemed to be able to charm Mary, as if she had similar powers to yours. Mary, or some sort of greater magic than that. All I know is, she had. She basically had Mary. Petting Mary like a cat. Mary ascended the tower to my kata on the roof, not even knowing who she spoke to in a form that I'm not powerful enough to give her. Mm. So we're dealing with someone with comparable power to you, maybe. That's potentially. Worse. Um, and so um, I will ask Mary. If me and this person is in a room, who do you serve? I couldn't hear you at all. Yeah, well, too quiet. Okay. She she whispers that would depend on who was closer. So if we have to fight this entity, you have to be literally on my person, or you will be our enemy. I don't know. Mazora, I've never felt anything like that. I haven't. She, Mary kind of looks around and then says in your head, I don't even feel that when your father's in. I'm going to say back, my who? Is that, did you say that out loud or? No, no, no. 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 He no, said no. my who out loud, I think. I will say my, yeah, because I was like, literally, she said what she said, and I'm almost growling. My who? Friends, is this person still here? Do I need to go? Because the shield's not and, on me right now, and that's kind of my whole... I will say... I, will say, I think the, the better move would be to stay in here right now. I will snap back and be like, no. And I'm now staring directly at, at Mary. Your patron. That's what I said. No, it's not. We'll talk later. In any Stay case, quiet. if we fight this person, it's very possible that maybe um, if Mary's on my person, she can do something to assist us. 
or it may be possible that I'd have to ask her to leave this area so that that way she's not tempted. In any case, she's afraid of it. So, whatever whatever she was, we I do not believe we are strong enough to fight her right now. I think the best course of action is avoid that particular warlord like the plague for the moment at least i think actually i think we should deal with it sooner than later one we're both in contestation meaning that potentially if i get if if she's able to do what i'm doing and mary saying whoever's closest if i mount whatever creature she's conjures if possible i may be able to take it over first secondly if the longer she's around the less we can rely on one of our potential allies that is true her presence yeah. makes us weaker as a group the flip side is we don't know what else she's capable of we don't know if she has identical powers to yours or if she's something entirely else not saying completely ignore it and I'll just... But we need more info. Mary, should... out loud, did she feel like me? It's, it's difficult to describe her. She felt safe, but dangerous. It, like you, but so unlike you. Is this in common or is this in something? This would be in common. I asked Mary to speak out loud. Ah, okay. We need more intel. We need to speak to people who know more than we do. We need to talk to the matron, the townspeople, get any scrap of information we can. We can't We can't go into this without forewarning, if at all possible. I know a place we potentially could go. And I'll look out the window in the direction of where we just came from. She seems like the kind of person to have notes on the others. Missouri, she summoned mean specters. Dealing with... What's that? Things I... She summoned specters. Things I... Things I didn't think possible. I've... I've seen ghosts and I've seen illusions, but the things she could do... I, I couldn't tell if they were real or not. We need more information. I saw the knife go in Zir's chest, but I know that Zir wasn't stabbed. I, Zir has no wounds, and Cleden is a healer, but there would still be a remnant. Cleden, did you heal her? I... It was... It was bizarre. I... I they were... There were no visible injuries. I... I could... Feel the, feel unless the... she wounded, unless she wounded Zir in such a way that it wouldn't be visible physically. The... I could feel the drain of life. Psychic. And I brought her back, but and I don't know what I did. Spiritual. My. Some of the things I do are. Obviously, you're aware of what I wield as a weapon. I assume oh. you've all figured that out by now psychically we can do quite a bit of damage because the psyche is what it affects. And you'd never be able to tell physically. No, it's a psychic attack. There would be no wound. I, the person who got stabbed, um, it felt like I got stabbed. Oh, it so... would. It would. Okay. I, cool. And so um, I'll even say in, um, so the chill touch that I have, um, I will sp I will summon it and basically have it move across the room, and it's like a skeletal hand, and it just goes... <sighs> and I'll actually relinquish it beforehand, and I'll be like, if that were to grab you or dig its fingernails into your flesh, you would feel it. There would be no mark. Mm -hmm. That is what I'm able to do, like what you might have experienced. Although even Mary said whatever you encountered was far greater than what I can do. She said she wanted to dissuade us from doing what we're doing. We really should touch base with the matron. She also said Katya's dead. When did that happen? Well, I'm sorry. Not what? necessarily dead in 
Evidently, whatever that thing was that threatened us in the little girl's form, it didn't grant her wish the way it wanted, the way she wanted. But she'll be reborn, like, or reconstituted Maybe. or whatever, like Zoe Maybe. Was. She's not Maybe. sure. I don't know. I don't know anything about any of this. I only Lisbeth, know what, they, what they've been telling us. Elizabeth said that um, she's not sure what's going to happen because she was made here as opposed to being brought in to this realm from the outside. You know. But she was thankful to us that we did that. Called her her niece. She said she was thankful for what we tried to do. What you tried to do was give her a chance to get what she wanted. It's a great thing. Everything outside feared her. That's how we knew she was coming. All the animals went quiet. Yeah, yeah. it would make sense if I were to use some of my abilities. Things would go silent in the local area as well. Although I doubt it's going to be as big of a radius. She obviously harnesses my powers to some degree. And she knows all of us. She knows our past. That like that might be. Um... What what did oh, she I don't even what know. did she I say that know. let you know she knew all of us? She called me a sewer rat. Hmm. She knew us by name, but that's not terribly thrilling. Anything anyone with scrying could, could scry me. This may be. Point a... is, we have enemies. We have lots of them, and they're powerful. Right. Maybe a bit of an extrapolation, but. Um based on the fact that, uh, and Clovis points to uh, to you, Missouri, based on the fact that when you activate your ability, whether or not you know it, we each see our own greatest fear. I wouldn't be surprised if she has ways of getting into our heads. Well, so we've already I tested. She might I, know things about us. Yeah. Well, I've already tested that, sadly and Come. thankfully, to um, Boz. I can control it. Um, it just was new to me at the time. Right. That, yeah, that, that, that I'm just saying, whatever the power it is that the two of you both tap into, it seems to have a way of getting into people's heads and getting whatever it wants. Notably, so, she didn't She didn't know who summoned Mary. Hmm. Then she doesn't know Sorry, us all. That is possible. But, like I said, I've got... She was well... She was right foot out. I don't have a magic bone in my body, so I'm the easiest of us to scry if anyone could do that. Did you guys tell her who did it? No. Well, directly. We just said uh, someone else. It be she belonged to someone else. Mary, stay close to Queden. Queden, no offense, um, but you have the demeanor of someone who knows fear. So this creature belonging to you actually would make a good deal of sense. And if we have to deal with her, me being able to employ my powers without her knowing exactly which one of us it is, is advantageous. Smart. Do you have any, like... Okay, okay. Um... I can tell her telepathically what to do, um, but she'll listen to you within reason. We are a team. Um, Walk swap. Okay. Here. I'm familiar. So, uh, as... Um... Missouri says that we didn't, um, Mary pads over to you kind of as this little ferret sniffs your hand. I don't want to be what you're most afraid of, but I'm going to be something from your past. Is that okay? Dangerous. Hmm. But where are you going with this? She's quite thoughtful. She exhales and then kind of falls into the shadow and what steps out of the shadow looks sort of like a large, heavily muscled panther. Um, mm -hmm. But you can see that it has um, like sort of like a very advanced series of nostrils that go up its snout. 
and really big black eyes. Um, and this is the first time that Mary has taken a form that isn't nightmarish. It's just what it is. Um, Clovis, you would have seen these animals before. Cleden, you know what this is. Zir, you've never seen it before. Mez, you've never seen it before. Boz, you might have. This is a Twilight Night Stalker. They are Ooh. basically... Um, they are large um, predatory cats with the ability to do short-range blinks between shadow. Cleden, you recognize this as the creature that wounded Mars the first time you met it. Oh. What's it? What was the name of that again? A Night Stalker. So it wasn't a full... Okay. Wow. Fascinating. Yes. Um... Yeah, the, the attack that led to the horrible moment happened later in your history. I think, according sure. to what we talked about. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, Queen, gotcha. your time in Twilight, you would you would have seen these everywhere. Same with you, Clovis. Um, yeah. If nothing else, you would have read about them in a book. And Bosric, you would have been told to watch out for them when you were guarding for the Telrid. Yeah, Falcon Watch is right on, on the edge uh -huh. of Twilight, so it's... Yeah. Um, they look, are the reason that you say... don't leave the lights in Twilight. <laughs> I look down, I say, you like any treats or anything? What, what do you... I don't really have to eat. I'm a manifestation of Missouri's fear. And right now of I'm a manifestation you of yours. Of course you are. Uh, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Let... <laughs> and I... <laughs> Can I <laughs> just like... <laughs> Give it like like not looking at it, just like give it like a head pat, like two head pats, and then yeah. just like yeah, and just um, like stand close by, but like not do anything. Yeah, it it gives you like a like a kind of half-hearted like purr, and then it just kind of shakes that <laughs> off. That was weird. Yeah, even I was a little weird. Then I then I, <laughs> then I won't do it again. Okay, this is okay. No, yes, no, you've entrusted Queden, me with it. The most yeah. important part is you have to seem at ease with Mary I can do that if it, for any reason it suddenly looks like you are recoiling in fear or you have doubt this other being will know that you are not the one who manifests it understood and I will look over at Boz and I'm just going to wink. This is going to uh, marshal your uh, reserves a bit, and I'm sorry for putting you in such a position. Me? Oh. I've been dealing with my emotions for decades now. Yes, the problem is now you can't drop the facade at all. Until we deal with the problem. Stone cold. Sorry, Clovis. I have nothing to give to you. Fine. I can be afraid. <laughs> that part's pretty easy. Oh, even I'll be acting um, at times afraid of Mary under the guidance of Quedon. We all have our parts to play. I think for now, we rest, we reconvene in the morning, and we start making plans. We start, because we now have seen the faces of at least three enemies, and there are countless more in the shadows. We need to get organized. As I was talking to, to Zir when we met our latest adversary. So let's go to bed. Refresh. Start and start anew in the morning. I'll go to the roof and keep watch. Enjoy your rest. She sleep with me now, or yeah, I, no. I'll stay with you.
We need to keep up appearances. We don't know how far she can see. And don't don't worry too much. I have enough magic that I can make a good showing as a uh, a wizard while I'm up there. I've always wanted a pet. <laughs> All right. You guys can. Nobody has to worry about watch if you don't want to. I can. I can take care of it. You, you be careful as well, just in case. She may not, she may not know about you yet, but there's more than just her out there. There is, and I have enough uh, wherewithal that I'll get back inside before too late. I, the, there's the only thing I can't see through is smoke at this point, and so if I see anything that actually obscures my vision. I'll be quick to retreat. Be calm. See the morning. And I will um, kind of. I'm actually going to make sure Queen gets to bed okay. Make sure Zir gets to bed okay. Make sure Clothes gets to bed okay. Check in on Dimitri, and only then will I go to bed. Uh, Zir fell asleep on the floor. Passed out. No, oh, well, if if Zir falls asleep, I will actually go ahead and carry her to a bed. Yeah, she was, like, comforted by the fact that y'all were all around and talking, so she passed out. <laughs> She's also in pain, so... Actually, no. I will I will not go to the room. I will, I will sleep in a chair uh, uh, just to keep an eye on Zero. Um. Okay, that so lasts sure. about an hour, like, because you're, you're fitful, you're not quite going to sleep because you're, you know, used to not sleeping. And after about an hour, when everyone else has gone to bed, Zir's body kind of just lifts up off the ground by itself and sort of floats into a room. And you hear the yeah. plop, plop of very heavy hooved feet yeah. as a minotaur ghost picks up Zir and takes her to bed. Okay, cool. Then I'll go. And then you hear a voice that you haven't heard before. I mean, you, you may have heard it in passing when you were fighting, but it was yelled at you. But it is a sort of, can't really put a, a gender to it, but it's definitely a tiefling voice says, go to bed, you big idiot. <laughs> 